hello friends welcome back to node.js tutorial so we are discussing node.js tutorial series we already discussed about uh, 15 16 tutorials please see the tutorial from very beginning the links are provided in the description section in this video we are going to discuss about the basic routing uh, in node.js right so how to create a basic route in node.js right so to create a routing we need some pages suppose we are creating uh, two three pages suppose uh, home.html and there are another files uh, like blog.html and next is contact.html right so basically we have uh, three pages and we will render all the pages and let's see how the basic routing is working and yes if there is no such type of file present if the requested file is not present then we'll move to the 404.html right so we'll create a 404.html also right so the thing is we have a index.js we will create the server first and to create a server we need to use the bear http actually we need the http module so i am creating http variable to access http module and we need a file system module to access all the files so simply let's create a variable let's create fs and require fs module right so http modules and file system modules are included now the next step we need to create a simple server so simply http dot create server so http is the variable which are getting all the methods from the HTTP module so http create server and here we need a closer function basically we need a callback function so let's create a simple arrow function simply a request and the response all right and inside this we will just write our http code and finally we need to listen the server right so to get of access of any server simply i just use the listen suppose i want to run my application in 8080 port okay so that's it this is the basic server creations and we will simply can console log uh, server is running on the port number or you can write this way so that you can get the console when you run the application okay so all are ready now the thing is um, we have request and response basically request will coming when you run the application it is coming from the browser so to get access of the URL we have option that is request dot URL so from there we can get which request actually coming and let's say if the request is home or simply we can write uh, if there is no any request means if the request is normal slash that means it's requesting the base url right so that time we will render the home.html so simply just uh, use the response dot write head and here we basically need a response 200 response and we can mention the content type so simply inside the second bracket or curly braces we can write text dot html and, and then we can fetch the data from home.html as we are requesting home so simply just uh, create a, another variable i need a read stream so we are accessing actually the file system so read stream and now the file system dot fs dot create read stream right so already we discussed about all the streaming in the node.js in our previous video if you check you can get better understanding and i'm not going to repeat these things actually we are going to get access of home.html so simply just write home.html so as it is in the same directory we can write in this way right so if there is any folder and inside the folder home.html is there we can write the path of that 
right simply as simple as possible right and the next steps we need to pipe all those things so simply just uh, pipe this thing so read stream dot pipe so by the pipe we can get the output so basically it will actually responsible to get uh, to read the streams from home.html and will send the response right sorry uh, here we need to print the response so simply where is the response that is the response okay now if i just want to get the access of blog.html simply we can copy these things and simply write else if this right so these things actually we need every case so i just cut this thing from here and let's make it here so it will be clear code and we don't need to write repeated things again and again also we need to pipe each thing so i just adding after the if else conditions right so these are the things we are getting home and here i just want to load the block right and simply just write block so if they request a block simply we'll get response from the block so now just go to the terminal and let's run what we can see so simply note index.js and this is the port 8080 so simply just open the browser and let's run local host and 8080 right so we are not getting anything because we have not created anything so in the home.html this is a blank so let's create the file first so write home and simply here write h1 tag home page right so in this way just copy and paste an e section so let's change when compressed complete so list blog and simply write blog page and then write contact and this is the contact page and simply 404 and it is page not found actually 404 um, page not found okay so let's use this page not found okay and now let's see the terminal so it's actually getting error because these are not getting any things so let's read on this and let's say so simply refresh we are getting home page right so in the same way just copy and paste it again and this is for contact and this is the last part for else condition right so right here contact c o n t s e t contact and simply we don't need this actually and don't need and we need contact and the finally if there is nothing from between if then we we'll load the 404 page okay so all are ready now just go to the terminal and let's run our application so simply node and then the file name index.js right so server is running on this 8080 port so just go to the google chrome or any browser and localhost 8080 so we are getting home page because uh, in the code we can check if there is nothing then we'll render home page and simply if i just go here and let's use home we are still getting home and just write contact so it will render the contact page and same like blog it will render the blog page and if i just enter some random things suppose any things which are not present it will basically render to the full server right so basically in this way we can create a basic routing system in node.js and uh, we will discuss the routing concept again when we start our express.js tutorial so basically express is the node.js framework and for now still if you have any queries about basic uh, routing concept please comment in the below comment section next day we are going to discuss about the package manager that is the npm node package manager right so we will discuss all about npm and related things so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.